Hello guys, welcome to my channel Hollywood Express. I am happy to present new video with you all the time. So let's start today's video. Goat still creaking around. Why is somebody burying him? No, I ain't been to California. Don't intend to go either. Actually, you know, it's uh, who's had the best part usually mm -hmm. gets the yeah. the nomination and one of them get the award. John Wynn in 1956 then age 49. John Wynn dead on June 11 in 1979 then age 72. These are my people. Hunch mayor. Go. Go, Martin, please. Then they say the other name, and then you relax. <laughs> you haven't gone entirely unrewarded, though. Um, you, you, you know what I'm <laughs> oh, referring I know, to. I know what you're going to say. Natalie Wood, in 1956, then age 18. Natalie Wood, dead on November 29, in 1981, then age 43. More important than knowledge. Uh, as long as you know, you take Henry Brandon in 1956, then age 44. Henry Brandon dead on February 15 in 1990, then age 77. Well, I always kind of thought she was. Where folks took me in, they raised me. That don't make you no kin. All right, maybe it don't, but I intend to keep on looking in it. Ladies of Harrow. Well, don't get hysterical. Look, I'll talk to you later. Yes, sir. Jeffrey Hunter in 1956, then age 30. Jeffrey Hunter dead on May 27 in 1969, then age 42. Here. By golly, a leather? It's for Miss Laurie. That's uh, the Lamar bank robbery, the Flegels. You might remember the name. They were uh, at one time, uh, several of them were the most wanted men in the in the country. Ken Curtis in 1956, then age 40. Ken Curtis dead on April 28, in 1991, then age 74. Before they were cast, and my first job, I landed my first job in the lead in a in a play called Child of Fortune, which was Jed Harris's last play. Yeah. Pippa Scott in 1956, then age 21. Pippa Scott in 2024, now age 88. Oh, I'm likely they'll need some taking in. Marty, you're that ganted. Ma's having a turkey for dinner tomorrow. Marty! It's because we're both rather shy, reticent people. Or perhaps because the nature of... Vera Miles in 1956, then age 27. Vera Miles in 2024, now age 94. If they're still alive. No doubt. Memories and the fact that it's all three countries, so you can't, the camera loves it, and uh, I wish they were doing more well. Harry Carey Jr. in 1956, then age 35. Harry Carey Jr. dead on September 21 in 1947, then age 91. Oh, if you won't make a sound or come back, no matter what you hear. Promise. I promise. Up oh, before you even more, did. Yeah, I knew okay. nothing. I, mm -hmm. I was I was up and down and up and down mm -hmm. and finally gave up. Lana Wood in 1956, then age 10. Lana Wood in 2024, now age 78. Colonel Greenhill's compliments, sir. 
The colonel wants to know how Is your head to... cold? No, sir. An affiliation with a community hospital in Santa Monica called St. John's Health Center. And uh, there we, it was the John Wayne Cancer Clinic. Patrick Wynn in 1956, then age 70. Patrick Wynn in 2024, now age 84. Well, you did all the body could, Ethan. I got your boy killed. Don't go blaming yourself for that. Yeah. Olive Carey in 1956, then age 60. Olive Carey dead on March 13 in 1988, then age 92. The prodigal brother. When did you get back? I ain't seen you since the surrender. Come to think of it, I didn't see you at the surrender. Ward Bond in 1956, then age 53. Word Bond did on November 5 in 1960, then age 57. <laughs> Here it is. My golly, I forgot. John Quillen in 1956, then age 57. John Quillen did on September 12 in 1987 then age 87